In this video, I'll show you how you can create a gig on Fiverr and how you can start making money on the Fiverr platform. Now, the first thing you need to do is obviously go to Fiverr and create your account. Now you can create an account for free and once you've made it, go to the top right hand corner to your profile icon and then go ahead and click on become a seller. And now we can sign up to be a Fiverr seller. Now I've made a full in-depth video on how you can do that. You can go and watch that if you want. But realistically, all you need to do is become a seller. And then it's very simple. You can skip through these here. And it's now a four step process that you need to go through and enter in some information about yourself. So you can become a Fiverr seller information, including your name, a description. You need to enter in um, professional information, link some accounts and update your account security. And then you can create your Fiverr account as a Fiverr seller. So once you've signed up as a Fiverr seller, you'll then be able to access your Fiverr seller dashboard. So once you've signed up, whenever you go to fiverr.com, it will take you and just redirect you to the dashboard by default. Now you can switch to a buyer again as well. So you can access Fiverr normally, and but by default, it will take you to the, the Fiverr seller dashboard. Here you wanna go ahead and go to gigs in the top here, and that will take you over to your gigs where you can go ahead and create a new gig. So obviously we're creating a new fresh gig. So click here and then we need to go ahead and give that gig a title. So by default, it will be I will and you need to write something after that. So I'm gonna, as an example, write a gig that says I will create high quality YouTube thumbnails. So once I do that, it's going to then suggest categories for me. So we're going to select graphic design and I'm going to also choose here the one that's closest to it. So I guess that would be, I'm gonna go ahead and put it under web banners and social media design. And then we can scroll down and we can choose YouTube here. So you wanna get as close to your category as possible here. Really what you wanna do is when you're typing out this here, you want Fiverr to understand what you're actually giving people and what you're offering, because the more they understand, the easier they can rank you in search for specific keywords around that niche. So here we can see that they've nailed it pretty well. We are now making YouTube thumbnails for YouTube and it's in this category here. We can also select a service type. So I'm gonna call it thumbnail design and for social media. Okay, so now we've got that all updated. We're gonna to go to the search tags. These are gonna be the tags which people type in search and your listing is going to appear when they do. So I'm going to type in YouTube thumbnails, click enter. We're gonna type in YouTube, YouTube growth and thumbnails. Now I've done that, we can now save and continue and just remove that. Okay, so now we're on to step two and now we can offer our pricing. Now by default, you'll have a basic package which you can go ahead and offer. But if you wanted to, you could have by clicking on this button, a standard package and a premium package as well. Now you'll notice on Fiverr, a lot of people actually offer a basic standard and premium, and it's obviously to upsell people with more product and give them a better deal, so they spend more money. Now it's up to you whether you want to do this. I'll give you some examples of what you might choose and what you might write in here. So on the basic, you might put three times YouTube thumbnails package. On the standard, you might have maybe five thumbnails, and then on the premium, I might offer 10 thumbnails. And obviously you will price them incrementally. So we can now describe the offering here. So here I've wrote, I will design free high quality YouTube thumbnails that guarantee high click-through rate, increase your views today. And then I will go ahead and copy and paste that and obviously change the numbers. So what you're doing here is you're starting to give your customer options. Delivery time, maybe on the basic package, your delivery time is gonna be two days, but on the standard and the premium package, it's going to be one days. So you're going to incentivize people to buy these two packages here. Number of thumbnails, so on this one you would do three, on this one it's five, and on this one it is 10. So now we've done that, we're not going to add any image sourcing or any, any source files. Revisions, we're going to add one revision on the basic plan, three revisions on the standard, and unlimited revisions on the premium. And then we're gonna price this at maybe $10 for the first one. We'll do $15 for 
this one and we'll do $25 for the premium. We can then also add extras if we wanted to, including extra fast delivery, or if someone wanted the source file, we can have, they can have the source file for an extra $5. And that's that. We can now save and continue once we're happy with our pricing structure and everything that goes into that. Now you wanna describe your gig. Now, when you describe your gig, don't just put a couple of sentences, make sure you're describing it in good detail. For example, I go to Fiverr and I type in here, YouTube thumbnail. And we can have a look at what our competition is doing. So we'll click on this one here. We can then scroll down. And this is the kind of description you want, you want to write. You wanna be talking about why your gig is good, why they should hire you, what credentials you have, and what services you offer. Now for the video example, I'll just copy this one, but do not copy a gig, write one, see what kind of things people are putting in the description, and go ahead and write something similar to that. And make sure you put your credentials in there as well, and make sure you put something that makes you stand out. So once you've wrote your gig, you wanna then scroll down, and you can also add some frequently asked questions. So you may want to write out a bunch of these, which are common questions that you might get asked. So someone might ask me if I'm making YouTube thumbnails, will this increase my click through rate and will I get more views? Then you will go ahead and write the answer to that. And in my case, yes, high quality YouTube thumbnails increase CTR and YouTube will push your video more if you have a higher CTR. You'll just write that. I'm not gonna write that for the video but you would just answer their questions and you just want to add like five frequently asked questions and give your buyers more information so they don't have to contact you manually. Once you're happy with that, save and continue. So now we're on to the next step, which is going to require us to ask a question to the buyer. Now the question is obviously going to depend on the gig. I'm making YouTube thumbnails, so I might want to ask what niche is your channel in link of your channel and i also might want to ask what is the title of each video that you want the thumbnail designed for that way i can make a thumbnail for a title then click add save and continue and now you're asking questions to your buyer to help you fulfill the gig better now we can go ahead and scroll down and read this if you want it's talking about gig imaging and how important it is so now we need to go ahead and give Fiverr some gig images, which are going to showcase to the buyers. So when I go ahead and search YouTube thumbnail, all of these appear, and these are all gig images. Now the first gig image that you upload, which is the first one here, this is gonna be the thumbnail that people see. So this first image here is what people see. So you wanna make sure you have a custom gig image, which people see, which people are gonna click on. For me, I've already made one, just as an example here, so let me find it. So here is the gig image that I've made. Then you will go ahead and give examples of your work. So I can just go and add some examples. Again, obviously customize this to your gig and make this to your gig and upload credible sources and credible pieces of work here, which are gonna convince the people who are looking at your gig to buy it. Then we can scroll down. You can add a video document as well and a PDF if you need to then save and continue after clicking on the terms and conditions. And then you're almost there and you just need to fill out some tax forms. So are you a US person? No. And then that's it, we're done. Now we can go ahead and publish that gig. Now it's open and that gig has been published. So they give us a link here, which we can go ahead and copy. Now I'm going to paste it into the search bar. And then here is our gig, it's got the thumbnail images that we added, it's got our packages, and it's got our description. Now, if we wanted to edit it, we will go here to edit gig, or alternatively, you could go to your Fiverr dashboard, go to your gigs and edit it that way. So that's how you create a gig on Fiverr. Make sure you do leave a like, and make sure if you're interested, watch this video here. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.